Okay, hello beautiful Divine Collective and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be going over the methods that I use for tarot reading and just how the system kind of came about. Of course, I just kind of followed other people's like systems and tarot readers and I listened to and liked and just kind of followed those systems and I clearly have made my own because if you notice not all of my tarot cards are facing in the same direction. This is because when I was shuffling I was getting a lot of cards flying out and going in the reverse and I'm like I can't keep track of all of these. It's just getting too much. Let me just make it face in both directions. Um, so that this happens. When this happens, I have neutral energy on like all sides of the deck and then this means, this indicates to me that I can read as opposed to not neutral energy. We would be seeing the pictures on one side and the back of the cards on the other. So when I see all of the back of the cards, that indicates to me that I have neutral energy and that the energy that I'm trying to channel at that point in time or the question that I'm trying to answer at that point in time is going to be channeled and answered. So this also indicates that sometimes the question that we're asking can't be channeled. In fact, like this hadn't happened to me a while and then it happened to me last night where the question that I was asking just like couldn't be answered and I was like, oh, okay. But then that's good because that gives you information on what is a better question to ask, what is a better energy to tap into. So that's why I really like this approach. And you may also notice that when I do tarot readings, I am not using any kind of spread. I am always taking the cards exactly where they lie. And uh, I also just work on a general grid system. So to the left is to the past, to the right is to the future. Cards landing on me are typically talking about the participant I'm reading for. But uh, again, generally, um, the closer the cards are to me, that's more of their grounded energy. And the further away the cards are, that's more of their higher conscious and higher chakra energies. And again, if a card is coming out in the blocked I take it in the blocked. If the card is coming out in the reverse, I take it in the reverse. Although you may see me hover my palm above certain cards to just see how the energy is coming through. Is it resistant or is it a flowing current? And um, just to help me indicate if it should be upright or not. And that is genuine, generally how I take it. Of course, um, you may get a pile of cards come out and I just, from left to right, just take it and read it as a group and go ahead and flip over any cards that are uh, facing the wrong way. And that's just how I read it. I like it. I think it's really powerful. It's okay if I get a bunch of cards. Sometimes I get one card. I only get one card and that's all I have to read with, but the message still comes through. Sometimes I get 10 cards and it's okay. It's okay. Like the message that needs to to come through is gonna come through. I'm not like overwhelmed, overwhelmed or anything. Um, that's just the way I like to read because I started my tarot with the desire of manifesting in, in a conversation with the universe. If I wanna manifest, let me manifest it in harmony with the universe, I have a conversation with the universe. Um, so I just like saw my tarot system as one where, well, I'm not going to expect an answer or demand an answer from the universe. I'm just simply going to ask and see what comes out. Okay, well, that's all I have for you today, beautiful Divine Collective. If you would like me to go into how to better manifest with your tarot cards, as in getting from one energy to another, please leave a comment down below so I can make that content for you. Okay, thank you so much. Bye!